so we have to import the boiler plate so this camera video capture which you see over here it's the boiler plate for the camera so that it can detect our images now like uh, since we have we are creating a virtual keyboard so like in a practical keyboard we have different rows and columns and like every column and rows have like the top one has the numbers and below it we have the different alphabets starting from a to z and uh, next to it we also have the backspace and uh, shift up and down buttons to format our writing and uh, like uh, the, over here we have also implemented the volume button like the volume plus and down keys so like one can easily operate a notepad without using it, his or her own laptop and mouse so at first the numbers like the 1 to 0 like you, over here you can see the x equal to 10 and y equal to 20 these are the positions like the row wise position is denoted by 10 i mean x and the column wise positions are denoted by y so in the first row we'll have the numbers so over there th for that we have created a loop control statement and we have specified the range from 0 to 10 like which is this is the start and the stop size and the default uh, step size will be considered to be one and each of the numbers will be appended till the last digit similarly in the next row we from which starts from 100 to 10 uh, 100 to 10 that will ha have the alphabets like from q to e just like i have mentioned above row two and uh, its range is similarly the same like from 0 to 10 and each alphabet will be appended till the end with a default step size of 1 and in the next uh, row we have uh, from 110 to 180 we will have the following other numbers which are in the row 3 and similarly from 200 to 60 the next uh, set of alphabets and similarly 110 to uh, 340 which is like i guess the row 4 row 5 row 6 uh, like i've mentioned we have used the backspace shift and uh, volume up and down keys as well so they are also going to be appended in these uh, rows and columns itself so this is the code for them now moving on oh. here you can see we have used the json uh, module which uh, i have mentioned earlier is similar to a python dictionary this module is specifically used to give the design for the keyboard like if when i'll run the module you'll be able to see that our uh, keyboard uh, like it's tr totally translucent you that like you can see the image of the person operating it but we have specified the borders with yellow color to give it a look and each numbers are like represented inside it so this is uh, the specified width and for the keyboard and these are the ranges given and like from where to where the rectangular boxes like you see in an array will be there so for, similarly for every row and column the boxes are there the rectangular boxes and these this Hershey simplex is the font size which we are given to the numbers and digits in our virtual keyboard okay uh, so now moving on like suppose obviously when we are using the virtual keyboard like for dragging our uh, hand to the respective keys or digits which we want to press on which we want to press of our own interest we have to use a, a cursor or a, what do you say like a draw contour button which will uh, it's a, it will be round shape and red colored and it will like wherever your uh, wherever the position of your finger will be there it will uh, drag it will be dragged to that position and that particular number or digit will be selected so this uh, this is the code for that contouring or draw contouring button which button which we have used with the module pi auto gui and this is the package which will help us to drag the mouse cursor now in the last step which is the mouse controlling system like the buttons how the different buttons will be controlled with the mouse over here also we have given the boilerplate for the camera like the webcam of our 
system and this is the same thing which was mentioned previously along with the like so that our mouse is dragged to all the positions we have mentioned the entire array size like from where to where if you can see over here the mouse positions will be dragged and yeah that's all now i would like to run the module for you all so that you can see it so you can see this is the uh, just one second 